Okay, so in this video, we're going to have a look at how we sync events from our PC across to the iPad. Now, to do that, we need to install the Breeze Windows Companion apps, and we can grab those from the Breeze website in the Downloads and Support section, and scrolling on down to Booth for iPad and iPhone. There you'll see a button that says Windows Companion Apps. You can hit that button and it'll start the download. Now, you can actually run these on a Mac. So if you're a Mac user, you can do that. Uh, you just need to run it through something like Parallels uh, or Crossovers to emulate it. Then you can um, use your Mac to run the event editor and sync events just like a PC user. Uh, but for this demo, we're gonna do it on a PC to make it easy. So once that has downloaded, you're going to end up with a couple new icons or three new icons on your desktop. Uh, the first one is going to be the Breeze Booth Event Editor, which is where you create your events and sync them across to your iPad. Uh, you're going to have Breeze Hub, which is a utility that handles printing. So you typically use that at an event uh, and the iPad talks to Breeze Hub to do uh, printing. And then you have the Breeze Booth Controller app, and that is an app that you can use to remote control the iPad uh, if you're not there with it. Uh, for this video, we're going to mostly look at the event editor. So once we've launched that, it's going to look something like this. So when you first installed it, it would have prompted you to download some demo events, which you most likely did. So you'll see all those events listed here. Um, if you didn't do that, it's going to be blank, and you could quickly run through the create event wizard just to create a basic event. So there's two ways, or three ways actually, but two ways we're going to look at today uh, of how you can sync these events across to the iPad. The first way is using local sync, and that's a really quick way to do it, but your PC and your iPad uh, need to be on the same local network. Uh, it won't work if your iPad or photo booth is at an event down the road and your PC is back in the office. Um, so this is not suitable for really for um, uh, actual practical use, but it is great for getting started with Breeze and just testing in the office. So let's have a look at how you do that. Uh, you hit the local sync button, and then you'll see you have the option to sync all the events that we have here, or you could just sync the one event. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select a simple event, and that's gonna create a uh, QR code here for me. Now, what we want to do um, is make sure, obviously, we have Breeze Booth for iPad installed um, on the iPad. And once we've done that, you'll see that there's a big QR code button on the start screen, and you can tap that. Now, once you tap that and you grab your iPad, it's going to bring up a camera. And we can bring it over to the event editor, hold it up to that QR code, and that is going to basically start the sync. And it's going to pull down all those files um, across your local Wi-Fi network um, onto the iPad. So that's done already. And so now if we go to the events uh, tab in the iPad app, we can see all the uh, names of the events we had have been uh, downloaded, uh, but specifically it has downloaded all the event files for the simple event. So we can go ahead and hit run and the event is there and we can take a session. So I'll exit back out of that. If I tried to run, for example, the props and filter demo, um, it's going to give me an error saying that the event files aren't actually there and that we need to download them. So if we hit the update button again over the network, um, it's going to download those events. Now, if you were to create a new event in the event editor, um, you could then come back into the iPad and hit the update all events button or the refresh list button, and that will pull down the new event that you've created. So once you've done an initial QR code scan, you don't have to do it again. You can just hit refresh or update on the iPad and that'll pull through any new changes that you've got. Now, the second way to do it, and probably the preferred method is to use Dropbox, because when you're using Dropbox, it's doing it over the internet. So it means that when your photo booths are out at actual events away from the office, uh, the sync will happen via the internet, not over your local network. So let's look at, uh, go ahead and have a look at how you do that. Um, so on the iPad, uh, you need to have the Dropbox app installed and you need to be signed into your account. Now you also need Dropbox installed on your PC and you need to be signed into the same account. So once you've got that installed on the iPad and you need to start with the iPad first, open up the Breeze Booth app, go into settings, and then you can tap the sign into Dropbox button. So then that's going to pop open a little dialog and it's asking you for permission. So you can go ahead and press allow and then you'll be signed in. Uh, once you've signed in, you can then tap the sync via Dropbox button and hit the save button. 
Then we want to come back to our PC and have a look at what we need to do there. So again, you need to be signed into the same Dropbox account on your PC. And then we'll come over to the Dropbox folder and we'll see that it's created in an apps folder and then a breeze booth for iPad folder. And we need to get our event files into here for in order them for, them for them to sync across to the iPad. Now we could take all the existing demos that we had and we could move that into Dropbox and we could do that by going to documents, breeze booth for iPad, uh, and then copying this entire events folder and pasting it into apps, breeze booth for iPad and pasting it in here and that would work. But in this example, I want to create a sort of a blank canvas and I don't want to bring all the event, so, uh, demo events across. I just want to bring any new events across that we're going to create. So we'll go back into the event editor and we're going to say file. And we're going to say new. And then we're going to go to Dropbox, apps, breeze booth for iPad. And we want to right click and say new folder. We want to call that folder specifically events. And then we want to open that folder and want to set the file name as events and then we press open. So now we have a blank canvas here. We've got none of the demo events. We're just ready to now start making our own events or importing our own events. So let's quickly run through and create a new event from scratch. So I'll call that my first event. Now, very quickly, when you build an event for Breeze, it has to be for the specific device and orientation uh, that it's set at. So we have an iPad and 10.9 inch here that's in portrait orientation. We'll hit next, and then you quickly run through and select all the options that you want. So we'll just keep it simple and leave it as it is. And we'll hit next, and we'll keep the sharing options the same. So I'll hit finish, and then it'll take just a moment to create that event. So that's now done. We need to ensure that those files have uh, uploaded or synced to Dropbox, and we can check uh, down in the top little bar down here that the files are up to date. So now that event is all synced uh, up to the cloud in Dropbox. So then what we can do is come back to the iPad, and we can go to the events list. Now this is currently showing all the previous events from when we were doing the local sync, but now if we hit the update all events button, that's going to connect to Dropbox and pull down an event, my first event that we just created. So I'll just take a moment to download those files. So I'll just give it a sec. Okay, that's done. So we can hit the back button. We can see now we have my first event. We can hit run. And there we go. So the event that we just created in the event editor on the PC is synced via Dropbox across to the iPad uh, quite easily. So there's two ways you can do it. There's using the local sync method, which is a easy way to get started um, and works great if you're in the office, uh, but it won't work if you uh, have your iPad or your photo booth out at events. Uh, and the second way is using Dropbox, which is really the preferred method because it uses the internet and will work no matter where your iPads are. Uh, so that's how you do it. If you have any questions, just ask away in the comments in the video below. Um, we'll reach out to support um, and we'll always be happy to help you out.